Okay, so we're going to do the bath and we just want to make sure we've got everything we need on hand ready for when we bath the baby so we never have to leave the baby unattended on the change mat. First of all, we'll just make sure we've got a clean set of clothes for the baby, perhaps a jumpsuit and a singlet, uh, clean nappy for after the bath, products for the bath, um, one being some soap that you can put in the bath or shampoo and some nappy rash cream for after the bath, wipes just in case the baby's done a poo before he goes into the bath and then a couple of towels and a couple of face washes for, for the bath. Okay, so we start by um, placing the baby on the change mat, make sure that we've got everything ready to go. We've um, checked the water temperature, it should be about 38 degrees and um, also check, checking it with your wrist and making sure that it's nice and, nice and warm. We can have a bath with our baby so we can um, also uh, make sure that we don't want to be sitting in a cold bath. Alright, so unwrapping the baby, getting the baby undressed, take all his clothes off but leaving his nappy on. And he's ready for us to wash his face and his hair. Babies always cry when you unwrap them, so to make him feel secure again, we wrap him in a clean towel and pop his, wrap his arms in, nice and secure. Should settle him a little bit. So I'm going to use a clean face washer. There's nothing in the water yet because we um, don't want to put any soap in his eyes or anything. I'm uh, using a face washer. I use one corner of a face washer and go from the inside out just one wipe and the other side you can do the same. Then just using the rest of the face washer just wash his face like you would wash your own. I always make sure I get in behind the ears as well. So we can now wash the baby's hair. I tuck him in under my arm, holding him around the back of the neck, and then tucking him in under my arm like a football. Coming round to the bath, you can either cut the water and wet the baby's hair, or sometimes I just use a wet face wash and find that a bit easier. Now you can use, choose to use um, soap if you like, or some shampoos. I've got this little foaming one. And using my fingertips and my nails, I give the baby a good wash. Here's hair a good wash. When you're happy with what you've done, you can just rinse off. all the shampoo. At this stage you can add, now add some bath solution if you want to the bath. Let's give it a swirl. Return the baby to the bath mat and just using the corner of the towel I give the baby just a quick rub. The hair, baby, the baby's hair will be getting wet again but I just don't want his head to get cold while we're doing the rest. So now we remove the nappy, we've saved the towel from getting wet and just to take the nappy off I grab the baby's feet and then remove the nappy. So you pick the baby up to go into the bar, just rest the back of the baby's neck in your wrist and then hold him under the arm like that and you've got a good secure firm grasp of him and he won't slip out of your hands while you're in the bar. And I usually grab his legs securely or his bottom, whatever you feel comfortable doing, and then bring him across to the bath. And then just slowly put the baby into the bath. Just let him get used to it. I've made it really nice and deep and warm. The first thing we do when we go into a bath is put as much of our body under the bath as we can. The babies are pretty similar to us. They like things that we do, so they like to be warm as well. So I'm happy for the baby to go put his ears in the bath as well. They're we're quite able to get wet, like ours, and let him have a good float. I usually just let them get used to the bath and the water. If he is feeling insecure and he is crying, 
a good technique is to put a face washer just over his chest and even over his arms and hands and just let him get used to the water like that. This will make him feel secure, it's a bit of warmth and weight. Now the babies don't get too dirty but the dirtiest spots they do tend to get is in around their neck, under their arms and obviously in their groin area. And you can either run just a finger around those areas or you can use a face washer. Talk to your baby, reassure him and just let him have a nice float. If he's relaxed, you can even let him stay there as long as he's warm and let him have a little snooze. If the environment's still nice and warm and he is relaxed, just let him float. Babies always cry when you take them out of the bath. So just take him out the way you put him in, same grip, lift him up under the bottom and bring him across. Always wrap the baby up, go with your instincts and make, make him feel secure again. Just try the top of his head again. The head's the only part you rub dry. Give him a good try and the rest of the body you just pat dry with the towel. Just making sure that you get in all those crevices, lifting up the arm, patting under there, into the neck. First thing we do is put the nappy back onto the baby. That usually helps to calm them. Nice firm nappy. If the baby just had any nappy rash, you could put some cream on his bottom, some zinc. And for the singlet, I just bunch it up, put his face through first, and then the rest of his head. And then guide his little hands through the arms of the singlet. At this stage I would get rid of the wet towel as well from underneath him so he doesn't wear his clothes. And then we can dress him in whatever his mother chooses. Lots of buttons. If the baby did have buttons on his back, on the back of the clothes, don't be afraid to put him on his tummy at this stage. Babies are able to lift and turn their heads. And you could do the buttons up if he had some down the back. Sometimes some parents like to put a hat on after the bath, but um, it's not necessary. It just keeps them warm after the bath. 